So I have a confession to make, and I'm gonna be vulnerable. This isn't my first Les Paul. Gasp, I know, but I wanna know from you. Do you currently own a Les Paul? And if so, what kind is it? See, I've noticed, and I think a lot of people have noticed in more recent days, that Gibson and Les Pauls in general have kind of gotten this reputation for being the old heads guitar. Like, the first thing you probably think about when you think about a Les Paul is someone with like an 80s Marshall stack going down on power chords and probably talking about how Greta Van Fleet is nowhere near as good as the bands they grew up with. But you see, that's not necessarily the case for me. You see, growing up, before I had ever even picked up a guitar in a distant land, Land called 2007, there was this little game called Guitar Hero. Yes, you heard me correctly, Guitar Hero. And no, I did not go on a single date in high school. But for a lot of people that grew up in that time period, like myself, that was our first exposure to this kind of iconic body shape. You saw Slash playing it, you listened to Sweet Child of Mine while going off on this single cut, just beauty. That was pretty much everything I knew about the guitar. But as I got older and I switched from playing guitar on the Wii to at least attempting to learn guitar in person. The genres that I like had also shifted a little bit, so I wanted to learn more about Stevie Ray Vaughan and I wanted to learn more about Hendrix. I mean, I wanted to be Stevie Ray Vaughan so bad that for an entire summer I put 12s on my Strat and I felt like my fingers were about to fall off pretty much at all times. <laughs> this just takes me back. and to potentially ease the suffering that those 12 gauge strings had on my fingers, please make sure to subscribe. But in wanting to sound like them, you want to play the instruments that they play because you want to be exactly like your heroes. I shifted towards strats and more single coil guitars and that's pretty much all I played. That is until this bad boy came in and boy did it change my mind on a lot of things, but the weird thing about that is this wasn't my first Les Paul. You see, I had had two beforehand. One was a gold top LPJ with black pickups that I bought about two years into my playing career. <laughs> Got those early math rock vibes. I thought I was like the only guitarist who had ever done tapping. The other one was a Gold Top 2012 Les Paul tribute with mini humbuckers. It was beautiful. Those early Freddie King vibes. That guitar was beautiful. Especially that, that second guitar was freaking beautiful, man. And you're probably like, Mike, how in the world could you let that piece go? Well, at that time, I just didn't think those pieces of gear fit the sound that I was trying to go for. So when I actually started making videos and taking this more seriously, I had the opportunity to get this guitar sent to me. And I thought what was going to happen was I was going to make a few videos with this guitar, make a couple jokes, and then, you know, just let it go. It'll just be in the back of some case somewhere and I would never really play it again. But once I started to actually go after it with this guitar, my goodness, it surprised me. I'm not just saying that, this isn't a sponsored video. I actually really enjoy playing this guitar. I just mentioned it, but the reputation was kind of a big thing for me. When I thought of Les Paul, I thought of it as more of the old heads guitar. I thought about like Tim Henshin talking about boomer bends with Rick Beato. That wasn't necessarily to say it was a bad or out of date guitar. I mean, the kind of beefiness that the bridge pickup combines with the humbucker is legendary and I had no qualms with that tone, so when I first picked it up, that was immediately what I went to. Thank you. 
I think I've seen a lot in recent days. Single coils have really been taking over the social media landscape of the guitar community, with like the mainstream genres being kind of like this neo soul and even going into math rock. A lot of the guitar players in those genres prefer single coils. I've even seen with some heavier genres where single coils are starting to make their way into the mainstream. And I found that the reason I didn't like this is because it's not a strat. And then I thought to myself, this guitar isn't supposed to be a strat. And when I started to kind of embrace the warmth of the humbucker and like the neck and the middle pickup, I was like, oh, this thing can really shine on the warm end of even some of the other genres I liked, like funk and like blues. <laughs> Like, I have even made entire videos on how to get like the John Mayer sound out of a Les Paul, not realizing that the John Mayer single tone sound is not meant to come from a Les Paul. <laughs> different sounds that you can get out of this that could have given me a much wider range of the things I was able to do with kind of my tone library. But what's the point of all this? I think the point of all this is to say that in learning more about this guitar, I've kind of been able to tackle that boomer guitar notion that we were talking about before, where a lot of the younger guitar players coming up would probably think this guitar is only for the old heads. Because I do still think, depending on the genre, like I've seen in mainstream country, even in a lot of like pop punk music, yes, you heard me correctly, I do know the pop punk guys every once in a while. Not just with a really fat humbucker, but specifically a Les Paul can be preferred a lot of the time. So I want to know where it's going to go in the future so tell me if you have a guess like in 20 years do you think the Les Paul will still have the spot that it has now will it kind of have this resurgence and make a comeback in the guitar community like I said I love this guitar I want to see if it'll live on I want to see what the future holds anyway thank you so much for watching if you like this guitar you can get it at Sweetwater the link is in the description second gear video it's been so much fun to do if you enjoyed this make sure to drop a like also if you like this make sure to subscribe and most importantly of all, have a fantastic day.